Hey guys, what's going on? Long time no talk. Um, we've been crazy busy doing all sorts of stuff. Palm, Comic Con, uh, Comic Con, Palm Springs rather. Mm -hmm. um, obviously the other Comic Con, flying back and forth between Chicago and whatnot, and so that's that's why it's taken a while for us to do another video. Um, we're gonna do a couple tonight. Luckily, we're finally getting a chance to sit down and talk about all the craziness in the Walking Dead world and the pop culture world in general. Uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about is this whole Robert Kirkman thing that happened a couple weeks ago. We wanted to talk about it right when it happened, but uh, we just weren't able to because of our schedules. And um, this is pretty crazy uh, mm -hmm. to me. And it's actually really funny because <laughs> there was another video that we had shot where um, it, it was like, because the sequencing of how it happened, right? So it was a Saturday when it was announced that Robert Kirkman had a deal with Amazon that he had just signed. And um, I don't remember what site I read the news article on, but the headline was something to the effect of like, Robert Kirkman leaves AMC to for exclusive Amazon deal, and I was kind of like, what? You know, and then I read the details of it, and basically it just says that he signed an, an exclusivity deal with Amazon, saying that he would develop all original content for them. So he's... I.e. lots and lots of cash. I.e. lots and lots of cash, exactly. Cha-ching! So, uh, that actually didn't seem very worrisome to me, because it's like, I mean... It's not like he's every day in the writer's room writing every word that gets put on The Walking Dead show. I mean, he hasn't really, well, I, I would imagine he hasn't really been directly involved in the script writing for a while, or at least not heavily involved. Um, he's the one who writes the source material, obviously, but then, you know, it, the writers probably take care of like most of the stuff on the show, right? It's Scott Kimball and whatnot. Yeah, well, what's most interesting about that is if Robert Kirkman leaves, I don't know if that also includes the rights to future issues of the comic, mm. which is good in the sense that, from, from a writing standpoint, it's good in the sense that uh, that means that the writer's room of The Walking Dead will have more freedom to not follow the comics, which is someone who doesn't read the comics, I think that's perfectly fine. Um, and they also won't run into the problem that Game of Thrones has run into, like, well, we've run out of source material, so now we have nothing else to talk about. So, in that sense, I thought it was interesting and what where they were going to go. But now, come to find out, <laughs> Kirkman is not the only one who's yeah. uh, gone. So, so what happened? Well, that's that's what's unclear. So. Uh, so when we were shooting that video, which we didn't post, by the way, because I said something on it that was just totally untrue. I was like, oh, there's nothing to worry about. He just signed a big deal with Amazon. That doesn't mean anything bad. And then, like, boom, the next day, they're like, Robert Kirkman, Gail Ann Hurd, and Dave Alper are all suing AMC. And I'm just like, oh, no. You just negated us hiding that whole video. Well, I mean, whatever. It's funny. We didn't end up, like, posting it because of, like, that dumb comment that I was about to make. I just didn't think, I didn't see that coming. Um, so, again, like, I don't know, like, the, all of the, the details because I'm, quite frankly, just too lazy to read, like, every single legal line of, like, the suit and, and everything. But essentially, what it seems like is that they're suing for like the same thing that um, Frank Darabont is suing for, which is that they all basically believe that they have not been paid what they're due. Uh, this is pretty crazy, because these are all people who were here since the very beginning of the show. And it makes me wonder, like, if this has been going on, like, ever since the beginning, and they just were, like, fine with it until now, or if, like, somehow... I don't know, maybe like this stuff that's happened recently with Frank Darabont's emails getting released and stuff has like inspired them in some way to jump on the bandwagon. I don't know, it's weird. Like it, it's just been a lot of stuff related to this stuff all within like a month period. And not just like one or two and not just a random person on the show. We're talking about three executive producers and the creator of the show. I just want to know if that means like Gail won't be at Comic Con next year because I want Gail to be at Comic Con every year. So they originally, I think everybody kind of assumed that, but now I'm not really sure because the last thing that I saw, um, AMC released a statement that said something to the effect of like, you know, well we disagree with Robert Kirkman's claims and, and the, the lawsuit. 
Uh, we're still um, very open to working in a creative sense with him or whatever. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means that like he's still actively on the team of working on the show and like the legal stuff is just going on in the background or if like I, you know, it's, it's just not really very clear. I'm sure they're not telling us all that stuff because it's, like, legal and hush-hush and blah, blah, blah. Um, I hope it doesn't affect the show. I doubt it. You know? What has affected the show, though, is that um, once Frank Narabon left, all, like, serious nominations for Emmys and Golden Globes were null and void. It strictly became about, like, sound and lighting and costuming and crap like that the, the awards no one really pays attention to no offense to the people who work on it I'm just saying but Nick Tara's happy I'm just saying <laughs> as far as the actors are concerned yeah. they those nominations have not been seen since season 2 when Frank Darabont exited and I'm wondering if that's connected um, that they stopped treating the show like the drama that it is which bothers me because uh, Andrew Lincoln is long overdue for his Emmy in fact, I think they should transfer all those memes that was made about Leonardo DiCaprio not getting his Oscar now that he has one. They should make a slew of them for Andy not getting his Emmy because, you know, come on, let's, let's get serious. So since we're on that topic, uh, and, you know, since what's better than a meme is a video, uh, I showed her for the first time the, uh, the movie Downfall, which is, for those of you who don't know, uh, in my opinion, like, the best Hitler Nazi movie ever. It's, like, about... It's basically about the end of Hitler's life and, like, uh, right before he, like, committed suicide and, like, the days right before the end of the war. And there's a slew of hilarious interviews... or, or uh, internet videos, rather, that spawned from this movie where they took this one scene where, like, <clears throat> his soldiers are delivering him some bad news and Hitler just, like, totally loses his shit and goes on, goes on this crazy rant for, like, five minutes where people basically took that clip and they changed the subtitles to be, like, other stuff. Like, there's, for example, there's one where it's, like, Hitler reacts to Leo not getting an Oscar. <laughs> and somebody needs to do that with Andy because that would be hilarious and it would also be highly relevant. Um, just for clarification, you mean the favorite, your favorite movie about Hitler specifically? Or about the Holocaust? About the Holocaust, yeah. It's like, it's like my favorite, like, WW2 movie. I don't, I don't really like, I don't really like, uh, well, no, that's a great movie too. Um, I don't really like war movies that much, like, but I did like this one just because I thought that, first of all, Bruno Gans's performance is amazing, and because it spawned all those hilarious videos, which people are still making nowadays. So, yeah, make one about Andy, whoever's watching this. Oh, that was grossly off topic, but there you have it, folks. Uh, I guess we're done with this topic, so you guys should follow us on our YouTube channel and on Instagram at RL Rashone and at The Living Rashone on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>